you must have a goal what do you want to be you want to be a lecturer you want to be a scientist a painter you want to be somebody else well it's up to you so i completed my degree at uh, andhra pradesh there was a time that i was asked to give a lecture way back in the i am talking about the 70s and the professor asked me mr man you are going to give a lecture i was really <laughs> shivering down the spine because i had never given a lecture to anybody and i was the only kind like studying in west godavari district narsapur and chiranjeevi uh, was my one year junior the former president i mean the chief minister of andhra pradesh so i was given the opportunity to speak to them i was least prepared then a professor of mine by name wasandra then he said you are going to speak on the occasion i said sir i have never spoken in you only one international language that is uh, you know my mother tongue nothing else i was shivering the shivers went down my spine i was sweating and he said no you come to me every day i went to his house for a couple of weeks because those days the relationship between the teacher and the student was something very filial something very reverent a reverent i must say very uh, i mean holy i must say so he dictated sentence by sentence and i took about uh, five to six days to learn it by heart and the d day came d day means the final day when i was supposed to uh, deliver the speech you know that my college had about 3300 students that was the strength and about 22 students were attending or rather participating in the public speaking competition the topic you know in the early 70s the topic was 25 years or 30 i don't know i remember the number of years of independence so my team i think uh, my name was called out in the 11th position i think so many uh, girls and boys had gone and spoken before me and when my turn came i just i was at the the bottom of the the i mean the hall then i walked up down up the up the aisle then i took hold of the the podium and uh, my professor uh, my professor wasandra was me don't look at any single person or a girl just look at pick three points left center and right don't look at any any particular person because they might show their faces or even giggle at you or make fun of you and you will lose your your concentration so when i started my speech it was a, uh, uh, i mean a rote memory recitation in the sense that i didn't know what i was speaking <laughs> but i knew that i was just uh, turning out exactly what i had crammed up so i looked at the three points he had as he had suggested and finally i completed my speech and it came away after about half an hour when all the speech was over the professors who sat in front of me and they put their head together and they finally came up with the three names okay the three names first name they they started from the ascending order okay the third position went to swarnalata second position went to samredi and the third position in the sense that the third was not the third position the first position it came to me and then since then i have never looked back i have represented many universities many colleges i have seen many stages so this is my personal experience so i would like to share with you on this platform so i am sure that you will also practice never be afraid so what's your goal if you want to be a scientist if you want to be a, a reporter if you want to be a, a journalist if you want to be a professor if you want to be a painter if you want to be a software engineer be the best in your field that's what you want to be many are the moment they get a certificate in first degree be tech bsc or bba 
The first option that comes to their mind is how can I get to New Zealand? How can I get to Canada, America? Let me tell you, my, my dear children, there's no life there. India is our country. We should stay here. We should not desert this country. You are being educated for the benefit of the millions of people who are not so fortunate as you are. So please make sure you do your best and stay back. Never go to this country. You can go there. I don't mind. You can spend a couple of months or years there and come back because this is your home. Whenever you go to another country, you are treated like a second grade citizen. I'm not talking from hearsay. I've been outside of India for 40 years. I have traveled half the world and this is my experience. So, India is our country. Be Indian, buy Indian and try to be Indian. So, here are lots of opportunities are there. I don't mind you going to another country and educate yourself, be the best uh, student. No problem, but don't hang around there. You should not be uh, a salesman in one of the subways or Tesco's or McDonald's in London or America or New Zealand. Come back. It's better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. So this is my message to you. We are Indians. Try to remain here. Educate yourself. Okay? Expose yourself to different cultures. But don't be lost there. Come back to India. Okay, that's my message for this program.